So this is our large corner tower. And as the name implies, this thing is large. It's a six inch diameter tower, eight inch diameter machicolated battlements, cool corner piece. Uh, this thing's got so many fun details all the way around. Uh, let's go in and take a closer look at what we have here. All right, so let's start here up at the top. So we've got these big eight inch diameter machicolated battlements all around. Uh, topping them off the tippy top, we've got these little gargoyle pole accessories. I love these little guys. They make everything look cool. Um, and you can swap those out, put any pole accessories in there, in those holes. Uh, we've got these w swinging wooden shutters. They have iron bands on the back to reinforce them. You can swap these out with our oil cauldrons or any of our hanging battlement accessories. Uh, then we've got two of these arbalists, big giant crossbows. These are uh, rotating their on pull accessories. So you can like put, if you wanted, you could put that little gargoyle on there. Uh, and vice versa, you could put the arbalist right on the battlements, defend your castle from there. Uh, and in the center here, we have a ladder leading down and a little operable trap door uh, to get us down. And this is removable, so you can swap it out if you want. Uh, and then we can just lift this whole, oh, we forgot this guy. Then we can just lift this whole level off if we want, fly it out. These battlements, these things come in quarters. Uh, they attach with magnet and pegs into the same floors that we're using in the towers. Um, you can, so you can build halves, you can build three quarters, do whatever you want with those things. Um, supper layer, uh, it has, there's a slot here for where the stairs connect from the, from the floor below. Uh, we've got a half, uh, half wall with arrow slits. It's got three nice little arrow slits in there. It's again, holds together with magnets and slots. The layer below, very similar. Uh, we've got the nice stairs spiraling up the floor above. In the back we have these double hinge doors so you can access uh, the back of this from either side of the wall. So those line up really nicely on our walls here. So under that level we have a three-quarter uh, roof platform which levels us out with our wall platforms there. Also good if you want to uh, do some building with battlements or like or uh, crenellations so they can hold those up. And we have this is a three-quarter level, so it's got the Pac-Man shape here. It's got a slot for the stairs going down. What I like is these stairs all line up, so those stairs coming down. Boom, 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 boom. You can just keep spiraling your way up to the top of the tower. Um, and this is open. You see it here it's open uh, into the walls there for connecting it to the walls. And finally, the base level like the dungeon level, just all solid all the way around. Half solid, quarter solid, super solid. Uh, then, let's look at the wall itself. Well, let's turn this thing around. Uh, that terrain tray makes rotating so easy. So, the wall is, it has two standard wall segments, right? This is a one of our regular four inch walls. Removable crenellations, removable wall platform. Breaks up into parts. Uh, this side is the same, except it has this crenellation doesn't have a back, uh, so that you can get up there with the stairs. Uh, let's look at those stairs for a sec. So we've got a whole bunch of pieces here. We've got two of our straight stairs, three of these little steps. I love these things. You can step, use them to step up and down any level change. Uh, we've got three of those. We've got a two by one floor. We've got a cube spacer and a half spacer. All of those are just really useful building block pieces for making a variety of elevation changes. And you can configure the stairs a whole bunch of different ways. And then finally, inside here, we've got, so we've got a four by four wall platform. We've got, these are our cutout crenellations. So this makes a cutout for the tower to sit on. So when the tower's up here, it all fits so nicely. And we have the corner segment. These are our cutout walls, beveled cutout walls. Use these so you can come to and from the tower. So you put one, you know, one here you can get. 
in and out of your tower there. And then finally we have a pair of cube spacers and inside walls. So you can make this a whole big solid chunk. If you want, you can flip these out. And do something like that or like this. And then connect your wall segments. Boom. Like. And then finally, uh, for variety, we've got an alternate flag for you if you want to change out your flag. And of course, that's a pole accessory hole, so you can put any of our pole accessories in there, and vice versa. And that's our large corner tower. This is a big, beefy, badass tower. Uh, looks awesome on any castle build.